Uh, my name is Neil Murray. I'm the designer of American Scots Got Her Head Chopped Off by Liz Lockhead. Well, the thing about the thing about this production is that it's it's contemporary. It's set in a contemporary times now. It's happening now, um, and it's um, essentially about a, a group of people who are telling the story, acting out the play, um, in a very very disused, um, wrecked urban wasteland, some area of Edinburgh that currently exists on the Lyceum stage. And it's, um, it's, it's, so it's a balance between um, uh, a very big, it's, it's a very big set um, of um, abstract expressionistic walls. And within this um, painted abstract expressionistic world um, is, a, um, is, a, is a, an, an urban, harsh, landscape of fairly recognisable elements, the, the kind of things we see about town all the time. There is a large skip full of junk, um, but also within the skip there is a crucifix, which is not the kind of thing we see in a skip every day, and that's quite significant. So it's quite, um, there's a kind of um, radical, scary element to, to, to the way we're doing this. Uh, it's very confrontational. Um, there's also a burnt out car and there is um, the rubbish of life um, lots of white goods lots of old fridges lots of cookers lots of the stuff of life basically that's been chucked out and on one of those I mean we make a plinth out of it's either going to be a, a washing machine or a spin dryer or something and on top of that stands a statue of John Knox with a with a with a traffic cone on his head. Uh, so again, you know, it's quite um, potentially quite dangerous ideas that we're playing with. It's contemporary, and um, these people are putting on a play for whatever reason. This is what they do, and. Um, uh, they, so they have a basic costume that is, is um, street clothes, fairly rough street clothes, fairly, um, not exactly down and out, but, but very urban, very urban, very, again, sometimes quite confrontational, but they need to look real. They, these, these, these people look real. These are the kind of people you see in the street all the time. Sometimes these are people that you kind of feel slightly worried about. Um, you know, they're, they're not, um, you know, these are not doctors and their wives. These are, you know, these are kind of uh, full-on people. And um, we, use the, the, we use an idea which, is a, which we call the dressing up box. So they will take elements from, in the way the children play, if, if children are going to pretend to be a queen, they will do that very, very effectively with, with found objects. And they will, um, because children have a wonderful kind of creative imagination and, and the ability to um, uh, make things work, um, uh, that's, that's, that's our starting point. So that's what we're doing. It sounds, sounds great. It sounds like, oh, you just pick anything. But actually, it's not quite as simple as that. It's very, very complicated. But so far, it's good. So far, it's working well. Let's just talk about the two queens. Yeah. Um, so the two queens are very, very different people, obviously. Um, but in this, and this is obviously linked to the way that Liz Lockhead has written, written the piece, <laughs> but what has emerged is that, Li that, that Elizabeth is um, is <clears throat> is very golden. It's very uh, very kind of queenly in a, in a very sort of um, trashy is the wrong way is the wrong word. Sorry, but but you know she she wears a lot of um, very bright gold. She's a very bright gold ruff. She's got a very 
Um, yeah, but some of her clothes are very contemporary, but worn in a way that makes them, that makes her like a, that makes her queenly in a very, um, again, sort of slightly confrontational way. Whereas Mary is very, um, very understated and very, uh, so she's in black, you know, beautiful, be and she's just wearing a very beautiful black um, silk velvet dress that would have come out of a dressing up box. And it just happens to make her look stunningly beautiful. Um, and uh, so that's, that's very interesting. It's very interesting how that's happened. And we see her being pregnant, you know, she becomes pregnant. So we see her, we see the actor kind of move off upstage slightly and literally just stuff a cushion up her dress. And, and you know, so it's all that stuff. It's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's about, it's rough theatre. It's real rough theatre. It's, it's, it, it's quite interesting. It's, it's rough, it's, it's, a, it's a piece of theatre that's showing a group of people doing rough theatre, which is how the costumes are working. I mean, some of the drawings for this, I mean, some of the drawings that, 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 that I've done for this show contain photographs that I have had since the 60s. For instance, um, there, is, there is a photograph on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, on Elizabeth's drawing that actually is, is a wonderful thing that came from a 60s Vogue. And the hair is bright yellow. Uh, and I just searched it, you know. I, ser I have a kind of... Um, quite a good system of, of, of storing stuff because I do need to be able to access stuff. But that, so that's how inspiration might work for me. I know what I've got this huge resource that is about images that I have, that, that have, that I've collected throughout my entire working life that uh, at the time I, I don't know how they're going to be used ever. And sometimes there are hundreds of them that will never be used. But there's always something about that photograph that makes me go, there's something very special about this that I really, really love. And then there is this other thing called um, Italian Vogue, which is, you know, Italian Vogue is the best magazine in the world. 